Hello everybody and welcome back to another Shop With Me video. In this video, Erin and I went over to Wildwood, Wildwood, Florida that is, and we actually got a 20% off coupon from one of our subscribers for um, a certain vendor here. So we went over there to see what we can find. And this is their booth. At first I thought they had one booth, and then we found that the one neighboring it was theirs. And then we saw a display at the front. I said, oh, this is their booth too. And after I was done paying and they were wrapping up my stuff, they said, oh yeah, he, that, well, he, she, I'm not sure, um, has a lot of booths in here, quite a few of them. So I did find a, a few things in here in his shop. So that was really fun. And I really appreciate you reaching out to me and offering us that discount because that was pretty awesome. These right here, I looked at quite a few times and I probably should have gotten those. I'm not sure who makes them. I think they would have um, glow, glowed, glue, glow, something really pretty. <laughs> so I probably should have got them, but I didn't. This piece was pretty awesome too. I just love that sort of, I don't know. It's a mix between like mod and Italian um, like folk art that they paint on the pottery. So I liked that owl. That piece of pottery was neat too. I liked that elephant, kind of tribal. Um, and I did, you did see the uh, Beatrix Potter stuff. Uh, here's another one. It was marked Arthur Corp 1997 for this metal mug. Um, I did end up going back and getting the Beatrix Potter. They were actually uh, Wedgwood and one was Bunnykins. Um, so I ended up getting all of them. Uh, I love you guys. If you why if you guys watched last year's video and any other any other year before, <laughs> you guys will know that I love Peter Rabbit. Uh, so does Gabriel. So I love decorating with um, Peter Rabbit things specifically for Easter. Oh, I just love him. He's so cute, and I love that movie. That's a really pretty piece of Fenton. That's right there. And I was kind of attracted to this duck. It was really well made. Um, why didn't you grab that, Alex? I don't know. There was a few things I was like, hmm, should I? But it was my first booth, so I was like, let me see what else is here, and then I'll circle back, which is when I got the bunny mugs. I was like, okay, I'm going to grab these. But this booth was really nice. I mean, look, color-coordinated glass. Um, there was some Wedgwood pieces. There was this clown right here. He was pretty cool. Um, but there is some Wedgwood pieces that I check out I think it was on this shelf. There was some black Wedgwood, which is actually my favorite of them all. I can't remember what the black Wedgwood is called. I know it has a certain name, but um, that one's my favorite. I just like the, I just like the black. A good pop of black is like beautiful in decor, I think. I love this hand-painted plate. Oh my gosh, that's me in a nutshell. Floral and gaudy, thank you very much. That is mine. <laughs> and the one on the bottom is very um, sort of nouveau in the way the, the the stems and the lines are. Ooh, that's a gorgeous plate right there. I love that. Pretty awesome. In this case, I was looking at the jewelry in there, but I love that cranberry, I'm pretty sure that's bohemian glass um, back there. There was a few little pieces of jewelry I was interested in, but you know what? I told myself, oh, I'll circle back around, and it's not something that I really, like went back for. Um, but there's so many different things. This antique mall, this is probably, 
it's really big and there's a lot of booths. There's a lot of things to look at. A lot of filming I could do for you guys to show you guys around. But typically my experience is every uh, it's pretty pricey in this one. Um, a lot of the times it's just nothing I can do anything with. It's like good to appreciate, good to go there and learn and see what the names of things are and, you know, see things that you've never seen before. Um, but for the most part, I, I really can't buy anything. I can't touch their pricing. But today I was actually, you know, besides the fact that I got 20% off of this particular vendor, you see, that was a fairy lampshade for, for $30 for the fairy lampshade. That little basket was $30. So, you know, here we are at a different booth. This isn't um, the vendor that I was looking for. I just continued on. I was like, let me see what else I can find before I spend all my money in his booth, you know? But um, but yeah, this day I, I actually did find some things. So I was pretty excited. I think there was a few new people in there because you know, most of the time when you frequent a antique store, you know exactly what was there the time before. Like Aaron tells tells me all the time that he knows that I'm like, nope, that was there, that was there, that was there. And you can spot the new items. So I think there was a couple of new booths, either that or they like literally changed every single thing inside the booth. But there was a couple of booths that had some um, pretty decent pricing for being an antique store. And I was able to pick up um, a couple of um, like Peter Rabbit cookie jars and stuff like that. Like this guy, I loved this. $5.99 for this shave mug uh, with this like lion on it. It's like purpley color. Pfft, that's my jam. I'll probably end up keeping that. <laughs> but um, so I, I was, I mean, I had to hunt for it, but I was able to find a few things that I thought, okay, I can make a little bit of profit on this or something like this girl. She was so pretty and she was a planter, but she was really torn up on the bottom and she was only 12 bucks. So I don't think that's horrible in, in the kind of planter that she is. Um, she's not, you know, just like a planter. She was like a pretty girl, like a figural planter. Wow, $12, but you no, know, she was kind of beat up. So yeah, most of the time when I come in here, it's like, I just know that was here, that was here, that was here, that was here. Um, but I'm so excited that I was able to find some things this time. I mean, that's what happens when like you put a sale or you switch some things around or something like that. That is, I mean, the best advice I could give anyone with an antique booth is you're not running a museum and if you want to make you you can't have I don't want to sell at prices in a store when people are wanting to buy you have to try and move your inventory All right, guys, so I'm gonna pop on here and say my goodbyes now. There is a few more minutes left of footage in this video. So I hope you guys can stick around and watch that. Um, don't forget to leave your thumbs up and leave me a heart on the way out. Um, comments always help us out. Also, another reminder that on Sundays at 1 p.m. Eastern, we host live sales here on the channel, and that's where you'll see a lot of the things that are in the shop with me's and in my in my haul videos. If you guys like to watch haul videos, go through the playlist. There's tons of them there. If you guys like shop with me's, go through the playlist on my channels. On my channels, I only have one on my channel, and you guys can, you know, watch the videos to your heart desire. All right, guys, thanks you. Thanks, yous. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys again later. Bye.